Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel and we're going to take a look at the Wi-Fi standards. Um, there's been a change in the way that we now will be talking about standards. It used to be by letters, so you had 802.11, A, B, G, N, and so on, and uh, A, C, A, X, and B, E. That still exists, but that's not how it's going to be referred to on most routers today. Now the Wi-Fi Alliance has decided that we should have numbers. So each number higher than the last is a newer generation of Wi-Fi and gives new types of capabilities and speeds and frequency ranges. So here you have the chart. The chart tells you what is the equivalent. So for example the old G standard 8211G that you see um, on your screen right here is now Wi-Fi 3. This is an old standard from 2003. It only uses 2.4 gigahertz range and it tops the speed at 54 megabits per second. Meaning, for example, that if your internet speed is 300 megabits per second, you will never be able to reach that speed because you'll be maxed out at 54 because this is old technology. So you'll have to move on to a newer technology of Wi-Fi that gets better speeds. So what I own and what I have here is AC. Mine is a Wi-Fi 5. It's a, a router that I have for now about four years. And I'm starting to think slowly of maybe changing it for an AX um, router which is the latest technology and of course it's coming in 24 25 be will be the next one y5 7. Uh, so this really corresponds to uh, the speeds so the higher the number the faster the speed now think about those speeds as being the maximum possible but you uh, probably will never achieve them this is under really specific conditions and very very specific hardware that are matched together but still you will get much faster speeds at each new technology so as long as it's faster than your internet connection it's all that's needed so once again for example i have a internet connection that is uh, three uh, 300 uh, megabits per second so my ac at 1.3 gigabits per second top speed is fast enough actually I told you that it never connects to that as that speed well even though it can go to 1.3 gigabits per second my highest speed that I reach when I connect to my devices is 867 megabits per second is it important that you don't reach that you reach that speed it isn't as long as the connection speed of your PC is faster than your internet providers connection so I got a 300, I connect at 867, it's fine. I don't need to do anything. There's no need to max this out. It won't give you any advantage except if you share files between your own network, between two, three PCs within your home, for example. Now that could change, but for internet connectivity, it doesn't matter. Each newer technology also gives new types of encryption for the um, WPA, for example. And so you have WPA2, PA1, PA3. These also are dependent on the generation of your router. So that's important to know. So technically, in reality today, most people should not be with Wi-Fi 1, 2, or 3. You should not have a router that is this old. This is really, really too old. And it could be okay, but if your router is more than five, six years, I would suggest that you start thinking about buying something more recent with at least AC or AX or Wi-Fi 5 or 6, 6E. Why? Simply because the newer technology has stronger encryption and also because it's a newer, newer router. It will have the latest security updates because at some point manufacturers abandon updates to the routers 
So that is a, an issue because you might end up with a router that has security flaws that could be exploited. And that's why I hate uh, these technologies for one thing, is the companies abandon way, way, way too fast the devices that they sell. So think about your internet connection number if, to make it simpler for people that just don't know exactly what's this. Think about your internet service you know, speed. What is the speed that is advertised on the connection you have with your ISP? Then look at the router you want and look at the router that has faster speed than the speed that you own, that you have. And you can think about the future. Think about maybe you got a 600 megabits connection. Well, don't buy just an N that has a promise of 600. Buy the next one that is faster. And even think of the future. If you've gotten the money because they're more expensive, why not go to even faster and newer technology? Like that, your router will last longer because if you're stuck at 600 and you go into a newer, you know, maybe the ISP is calling you up and saying, hey, for the same price, we're offering you faster. Well, you won't go faster if you're maxed out already. So thinking of something that is more modern is not a bad idea. And for the rest, you should not be running anything below N or Wi-Fi 4. If you're there, it's probably fine. But you should not be older than that. Uh, AC is probably what most people should have, technically. And AX, newer technology. If you buy something today, don't buy something less than Wi-Fi 5 or AC. This is what you should buy today. If you have this and had it for a while, it could still be okay. The N or Wi-Fi 4. And of course, in my case, if I'm thinking of buying a new one, I'll probably get uh, AX because I'll probably want to bump up my speed to a much faster internet. So that's the way it is. It goes with mostly speed, frequencies used, uh, and also it goes with um, stronger encryption uh, the more you are in the newer technology on Wi-Fi. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.